Lumos. Uh, oh, that's just down here. Sonko Chief Prankster Helmets. are open. Mirror in here. <coughs> I don't seem either to care that he go over and run machine through there. Stuff. Lumos. Mm, chimney, huh? No. Revelio. The dogweed in Death Cap Tree. This large tree with uh, winding branches supports the shop, dogweed, and Death Cap. I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was tizzy. just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tree. That's the first time I heard that word, I think. Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you, don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. <laughs> Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? 
venomous ten tentacular seed mandrake seed chinese chomping cabbage seed fertilizer okay How about we sell you some stuff that we don't need? Hmm. Okay, it's a chimney, huh? This one. Redemption one. Reordering. Revelio. You hidden. Oh, no worry, no worry, son. No worry, boy. I did. <clears throat> Somebody forced that one on me. <clears throat> what the heck? Okay, is that? Say they made a, a wonderful world with this uh, game. Uh, okay, we go down here and uh, let's check that one out. And then go in here. Yeah. Yep. You do gamble a lot. Most of the time, if you wait just like a half a year or a year. You will get a totally different experience. 
playing a game. Rebellion. Gonna be a page first, and I'm just gonna drag that out to me. Some games, yeah, I mean, you can forgive, especially for, for me, I love it in details. I can uh, accept some uh, issues, because in details I have a lot more forgiving, forgiveness for, but AAA and double A, I have no, they really don't have any excuses, in my opinion. Looks like it's a bit of a problem to get inside your house, huh? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged yeah, for. Yeah, I just hope the, oh, the Kingdom Come the Deliverance 2 doesn't have any take it, that's you, then. massive bugs. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it. A sense is gonna be performance issues Look, with the game though because they no, made it so much bigger than the first one. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dickney seeds? Dickney seeds? Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Mm -hmm. In Alta, you will pretty much not see any difference, really. Flying around. <laughs> I 
Klar, klar, klar. Blood Drags Wizard Wear. Founded in 1750 and with location in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Blood Drags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto they will happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular a chance of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Wait till you see the print. It's simply divine. Excellent tea. Caldrax Mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Galdrax serve only as the means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Sneakoscope. <laughs> a sneakoscope is a type of dark detector and will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untr untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution, however, as it will alert the untrustworthy to the user's presence almost instantly. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a little bit of a bad thing. Who's me, sir? You had something to search. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was an upgrade. Not much of an upgrade. Uh, Trade slot level 3, trade slot level 2. Hmm. Wonder what the difference is there. Let's see, by the way. Rebellion. Uh, I can't interact with him. Okay, guess we're not allowed yet. I, mean, I thought there was a page flying around me. Crazy cat lady, you ride a diggies. No. It's Given Shaft's cats. This cat seems to stay close to Shivan Shaft's quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them. Perhaps it's the treats the owner often leaves for them. <laughs> I can pet you, even though you're inferior to the dogs. Mm -hmm. oh. but the meowing sound they're doing though is a little bit of a weird one. Oh. 
Yeah, the purring is, uh, is perfect. Be fine. Rebellion. With an eye, right? What a well! The savvy traveler knows what, that some water wells may have more to offer than this relatively innocuous water well in the village of Hogsmeade. Look like a fish cap almost. Lock, 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 lock. What the heck, man? Rebellion. Frog spawn so. Phoebe's surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches right outside the suds. Oh. scared by that thing. Yeah, 
the Slytherin. This don't push it means push. Rebellion. is a lot. Three broomsticks, currently run by Sirona Ryan, and are definitely as old as Hogsmeade itself. Free broomstick is the long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. Hmm, fire whiskey sounds interesting. Butterbeer, not so much. Okay, where am I in this whole place now? Okay, so we need to go down there. Okay, let's go around this. Sensors. Hogs head dogs. These dogs outside the hogs head in offer a pleasant place to sit and relax. One can do so whilst only a stone's throw from whatever nefarious goings on may be occurring in the notoriously shady inn. Where's the 
go to Azkaban never had a chance in the first place. Health Elf. Revelio. Looks like that one is something that one should be able to get somehow, but you have the spell for it. J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the prophecy in Hogsmeade where proprietary Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Let's uh, do, do, do. Oh, we need to level up. We need to be one more level. Sir? Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? We in the world and Edris Potion was a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Oh, well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Hmm. Yeah, 
Potion seems to be pretty nice. Oh wait, uh, let's sell off some stuff before we move on. I'm questioning if I should keep these one with I don't know what trade slot level of 1 and 2 and 3, what that is difference. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna keep this stuff for now. There's a difference between the traits or not. Yeah. Butterbeer barrels. These barrels contain the popular wizarding drink, butterbeer. It is served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic content that seems to impact house elves much more than humans. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Okay, so that one we can't put a shield up on, huh? Oh crap, that was a quick attack. Okay, so he has like. What was that? Who can taste his own medicine? Nicely done. Okay. Troll with the punches. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. <laughs> Merlin's Boy, beard. everything is a blur. Are you huh? all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a you bit of an understatement. Glasses? Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Action. 
No, oh, it's a... Hengist of Woodcraft. The statue, uh, statue is of Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcraft. Believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. <laughs> oh, that, was, that will be a blurry view of your heart. <laughs> Power. Last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Seven, what more? Du, du, du. Oh, <laughs> duh. Repair. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Oh, you want to talk now, uh huh? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's Wizardwear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes in thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Kind of rubbish, huh? I'm just curious about the trade slots. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Okay, let me put on the... It made me, forced me to switch.
the items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Hmm. I can. Um... I'm just wondering. Okay, so these we can just yes, get rid of now. Let's get rid of it. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. See us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gog. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <sighs> What time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Can't we? Challenge accepted. <laughs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. You think so? Oh, 
I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Oh. <clears throat> so you have to be back in a certain time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't like you be students being out at night, huh? <laughs> and we ran quickly back. Okay, now we can uh, put on that gear. Awesome. This one's a glove, but that one's just one. Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> but seriously, what the heck, man? Every time. I like it without anything. Have received an outpost. Okay. Press a fig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at the Gringotts. I have, uh, let's see. Mm. Why can you do that out? I think I. Oh, I can put that disinfect in here. Oh. 
Rebellion. That's a quick way to back down, huh? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Rebellion. Fast travel there. I'm curious to see if there's anything to. Oops. Revelio. Oh, weird how it uh, takes a bit of few. Um, I can still open certain doors sometimes. Side quest up here. Oi, can you help me? Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Hmm. Okay. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Hmm. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. That was uh, one of those that we saw uh, before. Oops.
should we do that one first or hmm. let's go and do the, um, this one first Professor Fay, as you must get, I wasn't congested enough. The ministry has shot me with a range in the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins. I have signed the test to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor finds Nicholas Black, headmaster. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Hmm. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. I uh, wonder if... Hmm. Revelio. You're defending hogs. Yep. Let 
just keep our heads about this? No, I'm, I'm truly sorry. I, I didn't mean. What do you want? Yeah. Chasing uh, him with uh, an axe, huh? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Hmm. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. <laughs> I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. <laughs> Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well, what we are after right now. Um. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. Accio. There's the fountain. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Oops. Uh, I don't need to go in there. Mm. Something to boast about, but I'm hopeless at everything. Oh, 
the Dedalian keys are back. Oh I'm my brilliant. god, another one. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Hmm. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. Unlike any ch if you manage to open a cabinet. That he auto switches to the quest. Because I'm not pressing a button to the switch. Love to know what you find, if anything. We're going in. The stairwell looks promising. My friends and I like to spend our evening. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Come back. Teleport there. My siblings and I have all been sorted into different houses. Made any progress with your treasure map? Hello, Arthur. I thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. 
Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Someone's practicing with a broken wand in the common room. Um, okay, so... This one should probably be up here then, right? Have to slap it. coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Slap it. to follow one of the Dedalian keys. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them <coughs> house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Slytherin house chest. Okay, so we should be able to, like... to insert the token seems i'll need to find more house tokens if i'm to open this quite a few by the look of it 16 holy crap there's only one common room that everyone wishes they could get in uh okay there's a side quest
Revelio. Up, 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 we go. Oh. There is one of these somewhere around here. Um, hmm. Rebellion. To find a key one to this. Okay, that's a bit. There's my need number six zero one two three four five six. That's a lizard, and for this one, we need four and two. Oh, we need zero. We need that little sad one. And down there we need five. Oh, five is and here. One, two. Grab looking thingy. The Hogwarts architect. Hogwarts architect shown here surrounded by the four house mascots decided and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts castle alongside the founder. Rovina Ravenclaw, who is credited with creating its ever-changing claw plan. Off on another adventure, are we? Mm-hmm. We sure are. I just wonder what the difference is between all these and the traits. We haven't found that out yet. Revelio. Great Hall Ceiling. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched, been bewitched uh, to mimic the sky above the castle. Slap him silly, huh?
Lumos. Oh, Oh, Lecton. This chat Lecton serves as a spot from which the great uh, headmistress and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, addressed the school. Lumos. We got sidetracked everywhere. And uh, let's see. And of course, another one. Hogwarts Crest. The Hogwarts coat of arms includes a lion, snake, eagle, and badger, representing each of the four houses, along with the school motto. Dracodormins nunquam titulandus, which means never take a sleeping dragon. the door in here and here to the left I think uh -huh. let's see what do we need and the owl is zero one two three four yeah. No, it's the bottom one. Uh, 11, uh, zero, so we need number, number three. Here, one, two, three, so we need Hydra. Uh, that's nine, and seven, so 16, so we need eight. The spider. Solar protection goes to a proper upgrade.
Revelio. Levioso. That one went. God damn it. Am I late now all of a sudden? <laughs> what it was gonna go in there. Of course, just afterwards he goes in there. That's it. Damn, took many times to do that one. Moving staircase, the savvy student is wise to keep an eye on the stairs as they would change position without notice. While certain students may not mind being late for class, they may very well regret being late to dinner. Okay, let's see what we got here. Nine plus uh, zero, one, two, three. We got 12, so we need seven, so we need octopus. I call it octopus at least. And then we have 15 plus two. 17, so we need 6. Oh. That is the uh, lizard. This uh, like stuff is truly making you go all over the place. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio. Uh, 
Do I know which slot it was for? I shouldn't open chest then. This room contains the house cup, quidditch, trophies, dueling trophies, and other awards given at the school. Students who step out of line can be found uh, polishing the silver here by hand as a reminder of the value of hard work. Goblet of Fire Casket. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel encrusted chest. The Goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Fire Wizard tournament since the contest establishment in the late 13th century. Hogwarts Herbole Award. In recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows this special award upon 7th year Hufflepuff Mirable Gallic. From Mandrax to Mistletoe and uh, Booboo Tubers to Bouncing Bulbs, her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Okay. Revelio. Hmm, so... Do, 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 do. Handy resource indeed. So one can only have a certain amount I'd of. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. That's a little bit of a shame, so you can only have a certain amount of... Uh... Ah, god damn it, though. Oh, god. I can't do it because uh, I can't carry more stuff gear. I should just be carrying it. Where was this? Uh, hmm. The Ravenclaw Tower. Let's see if I remember that. No quest 
quest worth completing. Yeah, if you say so, buddy. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. Accio. The reason I probably should just sell off stuff then. Hmm. Just... That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Hmm. I'm just curious. We gotta go up. Diva Unai, under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress of you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrill thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Matilda Weasley. Pages, yeah. Oh, it's down there. Yeah. On the same model, the standard model of a hand is uh, demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle of which this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. So, Question, which one am I full on? Full on all of them, if looks like one. Or Chevias, let's just do this here. Um, which is cheapest to just ninety. Ninety. Yeah, I'm just looking to see what I have around here. Let's see. 
have this one. So let's uh, destroy that one. Okay, so let's see, let's zoom over to what we need. Zenobia, I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? No. <laughs> okay, I can be nice then. Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Hmm. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Mm -hmm. Very well, off I go. S Wish me luck. Get them sprayed. So this one went up this way. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Ah. Take it out on that thing instead. Slap it. Okay, uh, I assume there's an icon of like a. an indication there's somebody who wants to have a shot or what I just don't know where that person can be then Are they way up to them Can't get any higher on. Unless we go here, of course. Uh, that way. 
Professor Rowan. Professor, do you have time to chat? I always have time for my students. How may I help you? I wondered if I might ask how long you've been teaching at Hogwarts. Well, it's been what now? <laughs> Seven swift years. Time does fly because we have fun. Essential in my opinion. An eager, positive and confident mind is the most open to knowledge, I find. Some of the professors may not agree with your approach. <laughs> well, each of us has our own style, I suppose. Some in the teaching field believe that hard work and dedication are the only keys to success. But they forget what drives those things. If one cannot fathom why some would expend energy on gobstones, then one is blind to the enormous power of play. And that's why you teach the way you do? Precisely. I strive to be the sort of professor that I would have enjoyed in school. My experience was less cheerful. Perhaps you wouldn't be who you are without that experience. Had I received a more traditional education? Well, <laughs> enough about my student days. You are here now, and it would be a shame if you didn't enjoy it. I'll do my best, Professor. Thank you for the advice. You are most welcome. <laughs> uh, try to have a bit of fun today. <laughs> Rebellion. Okay. Let's see. Hello, Dragon's Guardian. How you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm getting tired. Mm, let's see what so we have. Professor Hecat. I'm in bad weather. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Up there. Ah, I believe Rebellion. To discuss. The Brilliant Black Skeleton. This large uh, dragon skeleton hangs in the defense against the Dark Arts. Classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hikat after she single handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in Eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. Uh, what the? You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working it on might be the same one. You know where to find me once you've finished. I need you to win an ock. Okay. Yeah, my pee. Mm -hmm. 
guess we need to have another. Some crossed ones hmm. isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Holy crap, the time's been flying. Okay. And uh, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do this one. Glad you're back. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Cross Wands all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Uh, oh, I have to use uh, Achio for that one, huh? Looked at the wrong person, man. So I can't break it with the. Uh, hmm. Ah! Okay, so many to keep track of, and they all. Hmm. Oof! Glad I didn't bet on you that round. Catch, go again. Mm hmm. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to focus on one at a time here and just. Holy crap, there is so many to things to keep track of. Why are they always moving forward Guess when uh, casting? I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Why didn't it break in the first time when I used the spell? I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Let 
Come on, man. Okay, uh, can one heal during that stuff or not? That's the question. <sighs> hmm. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. There we go. I could never duel like that. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I gave it my all. I'm stubborn. I'm gonna do it without healing. <laughs> the other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Sometimes I think it's better to wait so you do your defensive spell and then do the attacking. The more of them there will be. Perhaps I should stick to potions. Mm hmm, maybe you should. a bit easier on me nope seems i'm out of the tournament thanks to you <laughs> that's a grand point okay um, <laughs> so one can do the next round already or Hello, Lucan. May I use the training uh, dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Actually, I might come back later. Suit yourself. I'll be around when you're ready. Uh, you know what? Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Ready to have a try now? Sure. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to tell me. Oh, I don't have the spells or... Or is he just normal? Oh. <laughs> that meant he has normal. Excellent 
You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Damn. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. Mm -hmm. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. You've learned enough spells, so you need to equip the uh, incendiary to your spell set. You just need to swap it with a different spell. Good work. Try. Can't promise anything. No. Okay, there's another side one below us. 